Okay, three pods? No, Super Saiyan. This is a phrase I say a lot in my summon videos, so now it's on a shirt. There are two different designs for you to pick from as well, so pick whichever shirt you like. But just know that these shirts are only going to be around for about a month, so get your limited edition three pods, no Super Saiyan shirts today. So when we were summoning for LF Grade 8 Vegeta, that was not the only new unit that we managed to pull. As you can clearly see on the screen, we managed to also get EX Yajirobe. And note that he hasn't been playable in a 3D Dragon Ball game since Tenkaichi 3. That's been a very long while ago. So because of that, we're going to use him. We're going to hop into PvP and try him out on Sand Saga Z. And also, Hit is on this team, but I won't be using him because he's only there to help buff both Yajirobe and Vegeta as well. But let's get into it. Let's try it out. Um, honestly speaking, though, I, I, I'm i kind of like in between about all this because we have Vegeta, who I think is a good unit. We have Piccolo, who's obviously Senkai Awakened and whatnot. But I don't know how effective Yajirobe will really be. And Goku and Raditz are kind of outdated. Uh, there's no way in the world that's a bot. Not that high. Um, now, the thing is... Actually, wow, this is the girls' tag. I, I haven't fought the girls' tag in a very long while. But, um, yeah, so... Uh, 18's going in. Kale and Khalifa are going in. It just comes down to that last one. And it it's probably not going to be good 21. So... If I were to prepare for Evil 21, I, wow, I actually don't know what to do. But, um, I'm gonna take my chances. I'm gonna lead off with this. Actually, you know what, for the heck of it, screw it. Let's lead off with Yajirobe, all right? First time with him being playable in a 3D Dragon Ball game since the PS2, right? Might as well come out swinging. I will gladly take that. Okay, so we have something for Kale and Khalifla. Uh, we don't really have anything for launch, but I'm not too worried about that. Uh, yeah, and these are three-star sparking units against a three-star EX unit. So I guess this is as balanced as it's going to be for Yajirobe personally. So, yeah, let's give it a shot. Perfect vanish. He's going to die. <laughs> that was a very late sidestep. What is even happening? Okay. You can mitigate some damage. Uh, even if this person swaps out to launch. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, about to say, like, hello. No. Die. I'm about to say, I was like, pop main, please? Okay, there we go. I had to be a bit patient with it. I'm really trying to show off Yachirobi. Yeah, this person is not going to give me the leisure to do so. Okay, it's so weird seeing Yachirobi playable in a 3D game. Okay. I'll, I'll take that head on. No big deal. Like, this seems... The connection seems kind of sluggish. Okay, there's that. Perfect vanish. Yeah, I, I gotta take that. Oh boy, like, it's a constant rotation. I literally need to rush somebody. Uh, Piccolo can go. Piccolo can go. Um, I literally need to rush anyone, but. I just don't have the leeway to do so. Okay. We're going to tackle. I should have no time to vanish. No. Okay, I'm taking advantage. Yajirobe. Every single... T no. You gotta go. I'm sorry. Like, no. I need you... Of course. Like, I need you gone. 
Like, every single time, like, I throw in Yajirobe, Kale, and Khalifa are right there. I, I need somebody gone. Die. Like, we haven't even been able to use Yajirobe because dude is trying to keep the yellow unit alive. So I can't use Yajirobe. Which, I mean, obviously, understandably so, but still. Alright, we're gonna pop this. Oh, uh, if I can switch, that'll be great. Yeah, if I take another hit, he's dead. And I still have endurance, which is great. Yo, I heard that. Come here. I heard that from a mile away. I'm taking advantage. Key blast. Die. Okay. So I'm just going to charge. Nope. Got that back. Perfect finish. I, luckily, I didn't do anything just yet. You know what, Yajirobe? Go ahead, get in here. Okay. Do you... Two! Two! Cowardly save here. Alright, coward, do your thing. See what type of damage you can do against Alien Factor DSI Advantage. Slash. Okay, really good. Ah, there we go. End it! Ah! Gone. The ultimate finish. <laughs> so, that's Yadrobi. Although, I will say, though, landing that first special move actually did fairly... Actually, that's an understatement, because that's Alien Factor Disadvantage. That was good damage against Element Factor Disadvantage, especially as an EX unit. Now, granted, he's not like Goku or anything, but um, it was still pretty good. But now I do want to be able to utilize him a bit more, right? We landed his special move, which is great. I think we used his special skill. I don't remember if we did. Oh, uh, we popped main, got to see his victory screen, all that good stuff. That's all fine and good. I want to see his melee damage because obviously he's a melee type. Um, I don't expect his keyblast damage to be anything good. Okay, uh, the yellow Vegeta is definitely going in because I have two purple units, even though I'm going to be using one. Uh, Raditz has to go in. Oh, this is going to be a tricky one. Th this is going to be bad. I, I I literally have to bring Raditz in, but then at least it's open to... Um, well, no, then again, I have Piccolo as well, so that might uh, keep that dude from using that unit. Um... Oh, man, this is rough. Okay, uh... Yeah, th th this is brutal. <sighs> I No, I, I can't confidently pick him while that Vegeta's there. Like, I, I, I have to do this. This is the only thing that would make sense. Uh, but if he brings in Yellow Vegeta, we have to get him out immediately. Sure enough. And Goku. Okay, so... Wait, this is the right order. Okay. Um, uh, out of all these units, Goku has to go. Goku has to go. Not even a question. Alright. That wasn't necessarily perfect, but it was good enough. Okay. Uh... He dealt okay damage against Vegeta, but obviously not good enough. Uh, surprisingly, he hasn't swapped out yet. But I think dude knows that he can't really swap out right now. Uh, although me, on the other hand, I'm taking too much damage. It's it's not ending. Okay, thank goodness for the special skill. Okay. There we go. I, I needed him to swap out. Perfect vanish. Dead. Okay, you can definitely take a few hits. Uh, obviously, dude's not going to be using Rising Rush anytime soon. Wow, you are a bold one. You are very bold. Like, even if I take this head on, this... Actually, no, these heads are going to hit pretty hard. Yeah, it, well, no, I actually might survive this without having Endurance activate. 
Barely. Okay, not bad. No! <laughs> no! You not drove me? Ah! Ah! Charge! Because I literally don't have a choice. Okay, AoE? Yeah, and Raditz definitely can't take any of these hits. Uh, yeah. Like, when it comes down to it, Raditz has to take that L. No, man, no! Alright, pop main. I literally press strike. Okay, bye Raditz. <laughs> literally bye Raditz. Because the reason why I didn't throw in Yadrobi is because he would die. And if I threw in Vegeta. No. No. Um, but if I threw in Vegeta, then obviously he was going to... Um, I'll, I'll take this. Okay. Oh, darn it. I need... Actually, no, I don't. Um, but if if he threw in Vegeta, then he was just going to use his main ability, uh, ult, uh, use his ultimate attack, and that would have wiped out my Vegeta. So, there's there's no point. Wow. Okay. Yep. And here comes the absolute problem. Yep, he's dead. Okay, there we go. Yeah, Yadrobi, I need you to come in somewhat clutch. To literally any degree. Okay. That gave me a bit of breathing room? Okay. I, I'm landing on I'm literally anybody. So, I don't know how we're surviving for this long, but we are. <laughs> so, there's that. He got him out so fast. Okay. I'm taking it. Oh, well, you're dead. Cool. And he's dead. Crap, I, I tried to play it so slick, but I couldn't. Alright, I'll use this to heal. Dude has a special move and it's very obvious. Okay. <laughs> okay. Of course he brings him in. Of course he does. Endurance. I'm the greatest warrior who has ever lived. Oh, it didn't. Oh, I. We were close enough, but I was still in the charge animation, so I'll take it. But this would have been a phenomenal comeback. But it was, it was unfathomably obvious what he was trying to do with Goku, and the fact that I managed to get that far with Vegeta being alive is impressive. But um, we got to see a lot more of uh, Yadrobi in this battle, though. Like, we definitely got to utilize his uh, strength, his blast. We used his special skill, which did come in handy just a little bit. Uh, we used his special move as well. Uh, that did good damage. So, I'm honestly a lot more impressed with Yadrobi than I thought I'd be. But we do have one more battle, so let's at least try to win that one. Uh, but it, it really does suck that we lost, we lost our or one of our units way too early. And if that unit was alive, it probably would have been a lot better. I believe that uh, the unit was Raditz, right? We lost him way too early. And obviously the biggest thing is because Vegeta's combo never ended. Okay, uh, final battle. Okay, so this is just a general uh, Saiyan team. So... That yellow Bardock is not going in. There's... I'm leading off with you. I'm throwing you in there. And... Oh, the question is Vegeta or UI Goku? Even though UI Goku makes a lot more sense but um oof yeah like Raditz or not Raditz um Yadrobi has no place in this battle but I gotta try to make it work yeah th this is this is too rough 
I'm I'm gonna wing it. I'm I'm gonna pick you. Because I, I can't confidently pick between um the blue Goku and this Piccolo. Because if I pick him, um he'll be able to fight off against him, but Yeah. So I mean it's not too bad though. We have Yadrobi who can fight off against all of them, so that's good. But can he actually do damage? That's to be seen. Ah uh, Die Slash That's really good damage. Alright, there we go. I mean, of course, this Vegeta's only... Yeah, that's why I threw out my special move earlier. But, um... I'll take that. Um... But, yeah, that Vegeta's only at two stars. So, I can't really gauge much. But, UI Goku, on the other hand, was at a fairly solid star count. I'm gonna pop this right now. Cowardly Savior. And right now, apart from that, because that blast damage is pathetic. But, Yadrobi's kind of going in. Dude just went all the way with it. Yeah, I, I can't confidently, um... I, I can't confidently use Rising Rush because... Oh, okay, okay. Just a bit too late. Uh... Okay. Uh oh. You popped that way too late. My turn. Ah! Come here. I'm, I'm having Yadrobi do this thing. <laughs> okay, it just kept going. I'll get rid of Raditz. I I'll get rid of Raditz. I, I would much rather keep Yadrobi alive, but I've got to get rid of that Goku. Um, and, and that's my fault for not following up quick enough, because I was uh, trying to utilize my um, special move as well. But... Um, right now, Yadrobe is actually doing really good as- Well, then again, Yuai Goku is also a glass cannon, but we were also attacking everybody else, and we were doing good with him anyway, so. All right, who's next? I- I will gladly take that. Threat gone. Now I don't have to worry about Rising Rush. Oh. Oh. Oof, okay, get- Oh, well, no, this is still bad. He blasts. Because, yeah, the combos literally never run. I'm, I'm taking a huge gamble with this. I'm going to keep Yajirobe alive. Um, like, I'm pretty sure if this landed anyway, it probably would have killed Yajirobe anyway. There's nobody free to switch to. Die! Okay, Endurance gone. Slash, you're dead. Okay, he still has his main. Okay, I literally have to win this. That's mine. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, because I was like, if I lost that, it's it's literally a wrap. End him, Yajirobe. End him! Hmm. Gone. That, bro, y'all really sleep on this man, Yajirobe, bro. This man has always and forever will be stronger than Goku. I, I don't know what y'all think this is. I really don't. No, <laughs> no um... So, the fact that we were using Saiyan Saga Z alone is already impressive because that team needs a lot more units. And again, we are also getting, you know, Zenkai Kaoken Goku as well as the new Nappa and all of the Cyberman squad soon. So, this tag is definitely going to develop. But, um, honestly speaking, Yajirobe is not half bad. I I'm actually not disappointed with him at all. Now, he doesn't deal like crazy damage like Goku, for example. Like, Goku is a whole different breed of ex unit right but as a purple unit or at least for now for this particular tag or i mean the other tag is on a super warrior as well so if you want to use them on super warrior go for it but in general for this specific tag he can hold his own and again note that he's only at three stars as well if you have him at six stars it's probably going to work a lot better than how it did for me but that's just my impressions of yadrobi i'm I'm genuinely impressed with him. He, he's actually a solid unit, but I do want to know in the comment section below, if you did pull EXE Yajirobe, what team did you put him on? Even though there's not really that much variety. 
and how did he work out for you? But with that being said, I'm Edukuba, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.